the barometer. It has a pleated metal capsule on which lies a lever. That lever is attached to a gear system that moves a main indicator arm. That arm travels across the barometer's dial and indicates changing levels of atmospheric pressure. But there's more to the barometer than meets the eye. But to understand how it works, we'll just have to break it. capsule, the aneroid capsule. It's just an empty metal can. Because it has little air inside it, it feels the force. The force of atmospheric pressure. And when that force pushes down on the capsule, it offers no resistance. The capsule contracts. When there's less atmospheric pressure, the capsule expands. On that capsule lies the L-shaped end of the lever. It attaches at the other end to a gear system. The lever follows the movement of the capsule as it expands and as it contracts. Except for one thing. Even a massive change in air pressure only makes that capsule move by a hundredth of an inch. The barometer is designed to magnify that range of motion by multiplying it more than 90 times. The lever and the gears each do their part to magnify that range of motion. First, the L-shaped lever. It has a shorter section that rests on the capsule, while the longer section locks into a triangular-shaped gear. Because of its greater length, it almost doubles the capsule's range of motion. And the lever transforms the capsule's linear motion into a rotational motion. Because the lever actions the gear very close to the gear's axis of rotation, it multiplies that motion up to three times more and rotates the gear. Now. As that gear rotates, its teeth lock in and engage with the teeth on a second gear, shaped like a wheel. That wheel-shaped gear has a very small diameter, which, as it rotates, multiplies the motion another 18 times and moves the indicator arm. And that's how a motion that's so slight it can't be seen by the naked eye is increased again and again until it turns into a visible motion. With that, the barometer is able to track changing levels of atmospheric pressure across the dial.